Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 16 game But this is not going to be like any Man 16 game you have seen all year In fact, far from the ordinary This is the Hail Mary Challenge As you guys see, first play of the game My opponent, Mariota, rolling out Gonna throw it deep downfield Got Green Beckham down there along with a host of other Titans But it's incomplete And once again, Hail Mary This is all you're gonna be seeing all game long Hail Mary passes And that's Antonio Cromartie getting the pick this is just a friendly game, and, um, I mean, just to see, like, who get these aggressive cash. It's just a friendly little thing. Something different to shake it up, and Brandon Marshall shakes up the Titans secondary by catching that deep bomb. Once again, we go for B Marshall, but unfortunately, that time, we don't get the catch. My opponent is TD Barrett as we try to hit Decker downfield on second down. 25 yards away. It's going to be kind of hard to get one of these catches because, um... With these kind of Hail Mary throws, usually you want to get like 30 or 40 yard plus bombs downfield. So doing it from 25 yards is kind of hard. Devin Smith had a chance to make a play on fourth down, but unfortunately incomplete intended for the rookie turnover on down. Speaking of rookies, Marcus Mariota tosses this one out of bounds. My opponent is TD Barrett. He's a Titans fan, so he took the Titans. And plus the Titans have a few good receivers, especially Green Beckham for this challenge, along with Kendall Wright, Harry Douglas, amongst the others. As you guys see, Delaney Walker's also in the field third down. He could run it with Mariota. But the rules are Hail Mary only as he gets the catch downfield. Mariota was first completion of the game, and now he's 19 yards away. But can he squeeze it in with all these Jets secondary players trying to fight? Of course, the Jets have one of the best secondaries in the game. When you're talking about cornerbacks, you're talking about Revis and Cromarty. And then you even got Calvin Pryor out there. You got Gilchrist, third down, incomplete pass, fourth down. Field goals are not allowed, so we're going for it on fourth down every single time as he hits Green Beckham. DGB gets the first points of the game on that touchdown near the end of the first quarter. It is two minute quarters, no accelerated clock, and um, uh, some of the rules are that you can't punt the, you gotta punt the ball on fourth down. You can't kick a field goal. You could punt the ball when you're at the 30-yard line, but obviously you want to try to kick, um, hit the Hail Mary instead. As you guys see, second down. We're going deep down. Field for Brandon Marshall. Of course, B. Marshall, one of the guys you want to target. And the reason why I took the Jets is because they have two great receivers. You got Brandon Marshall and Eric Decker, two guys who can make those catches in traffic. But unfortunately, we have no points to show. Meanwhile, you know, Titans secondary, they have pretty much Jason McCourty. Michael Griffin has fallen off lately. I don't think his overall is too high. You got Wilson on the outside. who's not too great of a cornerback, so we might be able to take advantage as Mariota rolls out, throws it downfield, and it is caught. I will it's Harry Douglas that comes up with the catch. Actually, it might not be Harry Douglas either way. He's going deep in the end zone, trying to make it a two-possession lead. That time, it was intended for Harry Douglas, but it was incomplete. Second down and 10, trying to send a delayed blitz, and the pass is broken up in the second there. We got guys like D. Milner back there, um, Gilchrist, all these guys who got to make a play. Harry Douglas almost came down with that one. That's going to bring up fourth down, though, after the incomplete pass. Good pass. Pass protection, Mariota downfield, looking for DGB, but it is incomplete. Turnover on downs, minute left before half. We gotta try to make something work, and that's gonna work. Devin Smith, the rookie downfield, it was intended for Marshall, but Devin came down with it, and Curly almost came down with that catch, intended for Brandon Marshall. Instead, we're at the 23-yard line, second down. Marshall and Monk stutters fighting for the ball. Now it's third down. You're gonna make a nice read right here, but the rookie can't make the catch. That wasn't even a hail mary. That was just a good pass through the zone but um it wasn't a catch it's fourth down Cumberland stumbles backward but he will move the chains and we're going to run hurry up here still got two timeouts gotta take these shots downfield it's the only way to play and Brandon Marshall catches the ricochet at the one yard line now how do you score a Hail Mary from the one you can't audible or anything like that. You just got to take these Hail Mary shots. That's the rules of the game. And unfortunately, it's not working in our favor. Third down and goal looking for Marshall. But it is broken up. And now fourth down. Got to go for here. And it is picked off by Wilson with two seconds left before half. TD's going to run one more play. We're going to try to send a blitz. And it works to perfection. We score points on a safety. And that is big. And again, we can only score touchdowns. You know, we can easily have a tie game. Send it to overtime. Now, I had this two-point cushion to where we score the same amount of touchdowns i win because of that big time safety you know for two seconds left i didn't really mind that we sent a lot of pressure because even if we caught the ball the odds of him taking it back for um a touchdown is gonna be pretty low as he gets that tip pick with i believe michael hoff rolling out downfield mariota on the run almost caught almost picked off by milner second down and 10 delayed blitz lobbing it downfield that is the only rule tip and picked 
by Revis Island. Revis Island's gotten to be pretty damn wide today, and we want to win this game as we're lobbing it downfield for Decker and Eric Decker. Of course, Brandon Marshall's in the game, but Eric Decker is an elite receiver himself. Going against number two cornerback teammates, plays like this. We get the touchdown, and we get the lead. We go, I don't know why I went for two here. I try to make it a few goal game, and then I realize it doesn't matter since few goals aren't part of the equation in this challenge, so um. The last rule that I haven't gone over yet is that you can't call three men under. You're probably wondering why don't you just come out three men under. That's the best way to guard or just prevent defense. As you guys see, Mario, you can't run the ball, so you gotta take that Hail Mary shot. And on the run, it's picked off by Gilchrist. So you can't run um, by getting those like quarters deep, three deep formations. So you can call card four and stuff like that, or two men under, but I'm um, just not like three deep or anything like that. This is the way the rules were presented to me. I didn't make these rules. TD Barrett has these rules. He's been doing this on his channel. By the way, um, if you want to check out TD Barrett's channel, as you guys see, Wilson get the pick for him in a one-point game nice throw down the middle but Delaney Walker can't make the catch in traffic second down more Hail Mary's going deep got a man who had a step Kendall Wright might have been free of Mariota put that one on the money instead third down and 10 he's lobbing it downfield broken up intended for DGB the 6-5 beast and on fourth down he punts the ball away to us and if we get a touchdown, it's not going to be a two-possession game unless we go for two and get it. So, I mean, apparently going for two is part of the rules. So, um, that's why I went for it before. It just didn't make any sense as Brandon Marshall does not come down with the catch on first down. Second down near the end of the third quarter. A ton of players in the area in blue jerseys. But it's Brandon Marshall who gets the catch. Two-minute warning hits. And Brandon Marshall is dominating right now. Unbelievable. The amount of aggressive catches he's making. Then again, this is Madden 16. So, maybe it isn't so you know, exhilarating or whatever you want to call it. Third down, we're looking for Marshall lobbing it up from the seven-yard line. This is top fourth down. We can't kick the field goal. We got to take a shot, and Fitzpatrick gives it to a fan in the fifth row of the stands. Turnover on downs. He's lobbing it downfield, but he can't get his man second down. Trying to send some pressure, trying to make Mariota uncomfortable, rolling out, throwing on the run downfield, and it is caught by DGB, but there is a flag, and it is a throw across the line of scrimmage. One of his rare catches of the game is taken off the board he almost gets called for a safety instead the ball is broken up on third down fourth down and 14 will we go Cromarty will he go at Revis he's going in the middle of the field it's a jump ball and it's broken up right and green Beckham were amongst the players in the area will we get picked off on the next play he could try to take this back for a pick six but Ryan Fitzpatrick with the clutch tackle as we almost got our second safety of the game instead second down sending more pressure he's lobbing it in traffic up in the air and Harry Douglas had a shot to come down with that one but he didn't make the play on the ball third down and 10 lobbing it and it's picked off Revis in the clutch with 42 seconds left gets the catch now we can't really put on Chu Kwok well I could if I make a catch I'm not really going to put on Chu Kwok but we are going to try and make catch it downfield anyways but Wilson comes up with his catch it's Michael Griffin who comes up with the clutch pick with 34 seconds left he's got one more drive lobbing it deep down field needing a touchdown but there's D Milner on the user pick just trying to guard the deep ball overthrown once again by Mariota and that might be the game seal we're looking downfield Marshall almost comes down with the catch at the 20 yard line one more catch should be able to get us done because we'll be able to run a little bit of clock unless he calls a timeout second down pass is broken up third down you see that clock continuing to be chewed up even if we don't get this we're in a good position downfield a host of players in the area and it's overthrown by Fitzpatrick fourth down we're out to punt so I punt the ball away punt it in the middle of the field he doesn't fair catch so this will be the last play of the game barring a penalty Dexter McQuest is gonna have to put the team on his back at the 40 yard line juking away and brought down and that's the way this one's going to end we end up with the victory in the Hail Mary challenge this is gonna be something I do a lot I mean I might never do this again but um and just something fun to do and something different for you guys to check out. So leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty fun when I played it. I don't know how it is for you guys watching. Once again, check out TD's bum channel. TD's a pretty cool guy. I actually met TD when I went to E3 earlier this year in June. He's pretty cool. We played a Man 16 game down there. And then we played the Hail Mary game. So his link will be in the description. Leave a like again on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys next time.